Hello everyone and welcome to the Heroes of 7 Medieval 2 tournament. So this is the first battle that me and my friend, Steel Commander, is going to comment and analyze. So keep in mind Steel Commander is Planet Hell, I mean his previous username. Yeah. Yes, hello guys. So this is the first battle of the tournament and it is in group B between Arm Katragon, Armata Clan and also against Batokan. So now we have here the Kingdom of Jerusalem against the Byzantine Empire. The tournament rules are in the Discord, but the idea is that every uh, player has two factions and have to use one faction at least 20% of the time. Yes, uh, and uh, in general rules are uh, six cav maximum, and and no guns allowed, no uh, uh, no elephants are allowed and uh, uh, yeah, yeah uh, two, two, two fire throwers for for the Byzantine yeah. and two nafatons for the factions yeah. that have them. All right, guys. So I'm resuming, and here Katragon is the attacker, so you uh, and has 30 minutes to win, and ba yes. Batukan is the defender. So uh, the defender seems to have more missiles. And yeah, they have five missiles yeah. uh, for defenders, uh, four missiles for the attackers. Yeah. yeah can you comment? Uh, can you pause a second as uh, yeah. we can see the um, the armies? Yeah, yeah. I mean. So yeah. everyone has six cavalry because it is obviously allowed. Mm hmm. Yes. Uh, so you have the Templar. Here, the here, the, 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 the Syrian, uh, Syrian spearmen, right? Yeah, yeah. They have, and, and also Templar surgeons. Terrible. Okay. Yeah. And Katagon? He seems to be using some kind of cheap archer, peasant archer, maybe as a mid shield mm -hmm. in front. And I also saw one fire thrower, Greek fire thrower. And okay. on the right flank he is going with uh, two calf Archontopuli calves. Okay. And the uh, Alamanoi, interesting he is using. Uh, these guys have really good charged mm. Alamanoi. Mm. And uh, the, he has the Vardangan guard for sure. Okay, yeah, also Varangan Guard, I think probably four of them, because yes. they are really good. This model Latincon, Varangan Guard, okay, yeah, four of them. So, Katragon is going for the right flank and is moving with Kef, supported by the infantry, by the Adamanoi. He doesn't have any spearmen so far. And look, very interesting. He is keeping obviously the fire thrower close to the Varangan guard to protect them. I want to see how he is going to use the fire thrower in an attack. So it is a charge. Basically, he yeah. ch the dismounted Latin cons are going to engage the Templar surgeon spearmen yeah. against spearmen. And the Varangian Guard has a good charge. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Where is the fire thrower? I want to see them. Okay. So they have some distance. Right. What yeah, is of course. Going? Can, yeah. And they need to be protected. From. Yeah. And ah, nice. I see what he is doing. This is very smart. He is engaging three K from Batu with. Two of his cavern also having the Alamanoi help. Yeah. Okay, this is good. And now he got even more reinforced. Um. And another interesting thing that I, I can see is that on the left flank, it's again the, the same strategy as on the right one. Yeah. So he has two cav and two infantry supporting them. Okay, and I, for some reason, Batu attacked them and now he will lose the calf probably. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, look at this one. Oh yeah, the fire mm, thrower yeah. is in action. Second hit of fire so thrower. This will end soon. Yeah, man. And look amazing, they are even shooting in two different angles. OK, 
came and this will end fast. And yeah, all so Batu notices that he cannot win the calf fight against calf plus infantry and he is moving back, but it's too late, it's too late. Now, now yeah. he got a rear charge. Oh my god, the fire throws really destroyed these guys. They got scared and are rooting, are crying. The flag become red. We are blessed. The enemy and he are, so far he loses the... Have sent the idiot to hell. Yeah. So far he loses the general bodyguard. Yeah, man. It's a nice attack. So, like... Flanking from both sides, winning the care the fight and burning bloody. the remaining they guys with a fire thrower. Well, we need to keep in mind that the Katagon is one of the best players and he is yeah. the, the leader of uh, yeah. Mata Clan. Yeah, exactly. So he is very good and uh, I hope you guys, the viewers and me and my friend still as well can also learn some tactics by yeah. doing this commentary. So it's both for fun, for your pleasure and also for learning some nice sunset, move movements. But yeah, this was really battle. fast and, and beautiful battle victory. from uh, Katragon. I think that Batu should have sent infantry support on the flanks as well, not let the cavalry alone. Yeah. And also he should have um, attacked the fire throwers. So the fire throwers rooted all the infantry and now it's over. Um, the, I, I don't know what uh, uh, with the Syrian spearmen. I mean, they can be good, yeah. but they're, they're also cheap units. You mean the... Ah, yeah, the Syrian militia, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, uh, maybe not, they are not the best. Yeah. Okay. And now everyone is surrounding the remaining calf from Barca. Yeah. Valamano is coming. Here you go. The Germanic warriors fighting for this the Byzantines. That goes yeah. to only men of great I mean, is the victory for... For here. Yeah, it's a nice victory. And uh, I can only see into the statistics from Katragon because he's in the replay and uh, let's see what unit of his killed the most. So the Greek fire thrower <laughs> killed more <laughs> and probably rooted a lot, so great usage yeah. of the Greek fire thrower. I mean, he, he did use them really good. Yeah, it was a really nice battle, fast victory. Trust me, yeah. We can go to the next one. Hello again everyone, this is the second battle between Katragon and Batokan. And who is the defender here still? Uh, I, yeah, here defender is Katragon, yeah. but still Katragon, is, I guess, he's yeah. attacking. Yeah, exactly. There is no... Um, it is not yeah. mandatory to defend, right? You can attack, yeah, but... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The idea is that if you uh, waste... No, yeah. uh, I mean, uh, it looks like uh, Batu is defender. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Batu yeah. is defender, but okay. But uh, what I wanted to say is that even if you are the defender, you can still attack. The idea is that if 30 minutes mm -hmm. times out, you lose. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let me pause. The formation looks similar. So three heavy care from Katragon and what does he have? Alamano is same strategy as before, he is pairing the infantry with the calf. Yes. Varangian guard here. I want to see if he is using the fire throwers now. Alamano following the calf no. on the right flank. No. I don't see any fire throwers so far, yeah. Yeah. Batokan has uh, he's using the sticks. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. So he has put a lot oh, of stuff. And the map is Oasis of Death, I think is the name of this map. Yeah, yes. The attacker has 500 Florins bonus here. So what we see is that the left flank is already engaged in a calf fight. Yes. And I will resume and follow up with the remaining part. So, one Byzantine, now the one difference that the Katragon has is that he got good archers here, instead of the peasant good, archer, yeah. Yeah. one yeah. Byzantine. And of course, Batu has chosen his second faction, yeah. the England. The England, yeah. And I mean, England is very good for defending. Yeah, long, 
Yeah, exactly. Long range. But one thing, one thing that is interesting to me because I never do that in my games is uh, that when I attack or rush like Katakon is doing, I never put units on a loose formation. Ah, uh, yeah, it, yeah. Uh, I think he is going to to close the loose formation, but I don't no. know. Let's see. Um, yeah, no, normally they don't have a good charge if they are in loose formation. So he is climbing and put a lot of units fighting next to each other, like a lot of units charging against them. And the calf. Yeah. Okay, again. So many new. Yeah. So many English units are rooting. Yeah. So this strategy seems to be working really good for Katragon, pairing the infantry and calf. So he is winning the calf fight. And I, I don't think. Yeah. He moved the units closer, they still look in loose formation. And on the other flank, he is doing a similar thing, but now he is attacking the archers. And yeah. Yes. And the Arbor Bussiers. These guys are not allowed in tournament, but the gunners are not allowed, right? But Batu took them. But they, they, they are hand gunners. Ah, okay, yes, correct, okay, only the handgunners. The handgunners are, are uh, allowed. It. And from this moment it seems like it will be over very fast. Look, he managed yeah. to surrender to, to the infantry, yeah, to flank. And now also a rear charge with a cav will end the battle fight. Look, look how many units are routing yeah. from... And imagine he is not even using all the infantry, he has two more Alamanoi here. Yeah. So this is incredible. So you can clearly see that if you make good use of the infantry, you, you don't need all the numbers. So Katragon yeah. had two infantry here and two on the other side, so four less infantry. And Batu had all his units in the center and still. No. Oh my god, <laughs> look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that route now. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. incredible. And what is going on here? He's finishing off some calf. Yes. And the Byzantine archers are still firing. Only half the enemy force remains. Okay, so the first battle Katragon was defending. This is why he used the fire thrower, but. He still attacked it is even there. I mean, he charged. The day yes. for sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. And in this battle, there are no fire throwers involved. And uh, this is very much faster battle, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it's much faster. It's he won faster than the previous one. It's incredible. Yeah. Also considering that he has to move uphill and charge. No honor. It's very nice. He and to with the, with the less money. And abandons yeah. his men. Yeah. This is very new to me. I, I mean, I'm surprised that he is using them in loose formation all the time. You see, these guys are in loose formation even now. Yeah. Glorious heaven above! Our men have now captured the captured enemy the... general. Yeah. Yeah. Guard him well. Give the dog some wine and be sure he can see us defeat the rest <laughs> of his army. I, I, I like the, I like the guy that too. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the voice here. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> and finally, finishing off some last archers. Looks, these guys are fighting to death. Yeah. Because they are surrounded from all the sides, surrounded. I mean, good game to, to all of them, but to yeah. both of them. But yeah. I mean, Katagon is looks that is much superior. To them. Yeah, this he's is a clear playing way better. That goes uh, another to clear victory. Great and valor. He's nice. Yeah. Very look at this uh, clear victory and now I will take a look into the casualties so the calf did 100 kills yeah did this calf did amazing and the other one 69 <laughs> <laughs> Varangan guard this model landing on and yeah no f okay he had one fire thrower we never saw him being used you Ma see? maybe in the back or yeah <laughs> maybe he was Chilling somewhere, preparing the fire, but he never used it. 
Byzantine um, Guard Archer skill, 19, yeah. Really. Did, did they do any kills? No, no, no the fighter? No, no, zero kills, but... No. Okay. Yeah, he did nothing. No, he, ne he never used. Yeah. yeah. Nice games. Nice games, and congratulations to Quatragon for getting the, the three points, and also Batu, good luck on the next one. So I hope you guys yeah. enjoyed this battle. For me, it was super fun to watch it because the Katragon is a really good player and we can also learn something from this battle. Okay, yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Consider subscribing and liking to support the channel and the tourney and also check out Steel Commander's uh, YouTube as well. And see you on the next one, okay. guys. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye.